Chapter 46 The Sandhills Ha Mim. These letters are one of the miracles of the Quran, and none but Allah alone knows their meanings. The revelation of the book, this Quran, is from Allah, the Almighty, the All Wise. We created not the heavens and the earth and all that is between them except with truth, and for an appointed term. But those who disbelieve turn away from that whereof they are warned. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him to these pagans, think you about all that you invoke besides Allah? Show me. What have they created of the earth? Or have they a share in the creation of the heavens? Bring me a book revealed before this, or some trace of knowledge in support of your claims, if you are truthful. And who is more astray than one who calls on invokes besides Allah, such as will not answer him till the day of resurrection, and who are even unaware of their calls invocations to them? And when mankind are gathered on the day of resurrection, they false deities will become their enemies and will deny their worshipping. And when our clear verses are recited to them, the disbelievers say of the truth, this Quran, when it reaches them, this is plain magic. Or say they, he, Muhammad peace be upon him, has fabricated it. Say, if I have fabricated it? Still you have no power to support me against Allah. He knows best of what you say among yourselves concerning it, that is this Quran. Sufficient is he as a witness between me and you. And he is the oft-forgiving, the most merciful. Say, O Muhammad peace be upon him, I am not a new thing among the messengers of Allah that is I am not the first messenger, nor do I know what will be done with me or with you. I only follow that which is revealed to me, and I am but a plain warner. Say, tell me, if this Quran is from Allah and you deny it, and a witness from among the children of Israel, Abdullah bin Salam, testifies that this Quran is from Allah, like the Torah, Torah, and he believed, embraced Islam, while you are too proud to believe. Verily, Allah guides not the people who are Zalaman, polytheists, disbelievers, and wrongdoers. And those who disbelieve, the strong and wealthy, say of those who believe, the weak and poor, had it Islamic monotheism to which Muhammad peace be upon him as inviting mankind, been a good thing, they, the weak and poor, would not have preceded us thereto. And when they have not let themselves be guided by it, this Quran, they say, this is an ancient lie. And before this was the scripture of Musa Moses, as a guide and a mercy. And this is a confirming book, the Quran, in the Arabic language, to warn those who do wrong, and as glad tidings to the Musinan, good doers. See the footnote of B.9, 120. Verily, those who say, Our Lord is only Allah, and thereafter stand firm and straight on the Islamic faith of monotheism, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Such shall be the dwellers of paradise, abiding therein, forever, a reward for what they used to do. And we have enjoined on man to be dutiful and kind to his parents. His mother bears him with hardship. And she brings him forth with hardship, and the bearing of him, and the weaning of him is thirty months, till when he attains full strength and reaches forty years, he says, My Lord, grant me the power and ability that I may be grateful for your favor which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and that I may do righteous good deeds, such as please you, and make my offspring good. Truly, I have turned to you in repentance, and truly, I am one of the Muslims, submitting to your will. They are those from whom we shall accept the best of their deeds and overlook their evil deeds. They shall be, among the dwellers of paradise, a promise of truth, which they have been promised. But he who says to his parents, Fie upon you both! Do you hold out the promise to me that I shall be raised up, again, when generations before me have passed away, without rising? 
while they father and mother invoke Allah for help and rebuke their son, woe to you! Believe. Verily, the promise of Allah is true. But he says, this is nothing but the tales of the ancient. They are those against whom the word of torment is justified among the previous generations of jinn, demon, and mankind that have passed away. Verily, they are ever the losers. And for all, there will be degrees according to that which they did, that he Allah, may recompense them in full for their deeds. And they will not be wronged. On the day when those who disbelieve in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism, will be exposed to the fire, it will be said, you received your good things in the life of the world, and you took your pleasure therein. Now this day you shall be recompensed with a torment of humiliation, because you were arrogant in the land without a right, and because you used to rebel against Allah's command, disobey Allah. And remember, Hud, the brother of Ad, when he warned his people in al agaf the curved sand hills in the southern part of Arabian Peninsula. And surely, there have passed away warners before him and after him, saying, Worship none but Allah. Truly, I fear for you the torment of a mighty day, that is the day of resurrection. They said, Have you come to turn us away from our Allah gods? Then bring us that with which you threaten us, if you are one of the truthful. He said, The knowledge of the time of its coming is with Allah only. And I convey to you that wherewith I have been sent, but I see that you are a people given to ignorance. Then, when they saw it as a dense cloud coming towards their valleys, they said, This is a cloud bringing us rain. Nay, but it is that torment which you were asking to be hastened, a wind wherein is a painful torment. Destroying everything by the command of its Lord. So they became such that nothing could be seen except their dwellings. Thus do we recompense the people who are mujrimun, polytheists, disbelievers, sinners. And indeed we had firmly established them with that wherewith we have not established you, O Quraysh. And we had assigned them the faculties of, hearing ears, seeing eyes, and hearts. But their hearing ears, seeing eyes, and their hearts availed them nothing since they used to deny the ayat, Allah's prophets and their prophethood, proofs, evidence, verses, signs, revelations, of Allah, and they were completely encircled by that which they used to mock at. And indeed we have destroyed towns, populations, round about you, and we have, repeatedly, shown, them, the ayat, proofs, evidence, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., in various ways that they might return, to the truth and believe in the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism. Then why did those whom they had taken for Allah, gods, besides Allah, as a way of approach, to Allah, not help them? Nay, but they vanished completely from them, when there came the torment. And that was their lie, and their inventions which they had been inventing, before their destruction. And, remember, when we sent towards you, Muhammad peace be upon him, a group, three to ten persons, of the jinn, demon, quietly, listening to the Quran. When they stood in the presence thereof, they said, listen in silence. And when it was finished, they returned to their people, as warners. They said, O oh our people! Verily, we have heard a book, this Quran, sent down after Musa, Moses, confirming what came before it, it guides to the truth and to the straight path, that is Islam. O oh our people, respond, with obedience, to Allah's caller, that is Allah's messenger Muhammad peace be upon him, and believe in him, that is believe in that which Muhammad peace be upon him has brought from Allah and follow him. He, Allah, will forgive you of your sins, and will save you from a painful torment, that is hellfire. And whosoever does not respond to Allah's caller, he cannot escape on earth, and there will be no alia, lords, helpers, supporters, protectors, for him besides Allah, from Allah's punishment. Those are in manifest error. 
Do they not see that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, and was not wearied by their creation, is able to give life to the dead? Yes, he surely is able to do all things. And on the day when those who disbelieve will be exposed to the fire, it will be said to them, Is this not the truth? They will say, Yes, by our Lord. He will say, Then taste the torment, because you used to disbelieve. Therefore be patient, O Muhammad peace be upon him, as did the messengers of strong will and be in no haste about them, disbelievers. On the day when they will see that torment, with which they are promised, that is threatened, it will be, as if they had not stayed more than an hour in a single day. O mankind! This Quran is sufficient as, a clear message, or proclamation to save yourself from destruction. But shall any be destroyed except the people who are al-Fasichun, the rebellious against Allah's command, the disobedient to Allah?